Have you tried streaming using SRT streaming protocol with your Obsport Tail Air? If you haven't, let me show you how to set it up. In this video, I'll be showing you a sample Facebook streaming using SRT streaming protocols and I will be connecting this also to OBS. Without further ado, let's get started. Heads up for you, I am not a pro on OBS nor cameras. I am just sharing to you what I've learned so far so you can maybe try SRT streaming on Facebook streaming or it could be YouTube or other streaming platform. Now, SRT streaming, we will need the app or, or Obsbot app from our devices, maybe a phone or a tablet or, or Android or iOS devices. So we'll have to open the Obsbot app from there and then we will connect, we will be connecting it to the OBS from a laptop. Okay, so from here I've already opened the Obsbot app from this device and the first thing we will do is we're going to tap the three dots on here and we'll go to SRT settings and so from here you'll have your local IP address, your local port, the local port is, is a default, you cannot change it. Stream ID, it's up to you if you want to add one. The delay, it's up to you if you want to change it. I'm just going to be using the default one and encrypt. It's up to you if you want to turn it on, you want to encrypt it or no. So I'm just going to leave it as it is right now. So as you can see over here, it's set to listener. Now let's go out from there. And from here, we are going to uh, turn on the SRT mode. So please remember, now let's go back first to Let's go back first to SRT setting. So you have to remember your local IP address because we will need that number, that IP address, to enter to the OBS studio. Okay, uh, so from here, again, I'm go, I'll go out from there and then I'm going to be turning on the SRT mode. Now it's telling us that once we turn on SRT mode, we will not be able to use the, UB, the UVC, RTSP, and NDI live streaming. And from here, we'll just hit done. There you go, we're all good in there. And by the way, if you're curious, if I'm going to tap media setting, I am setting the SRT, so NDI slash RTSP, SRT. Uh, I'm setting the resolution to 4K, so it's up to you if you want to change that. But if you want to change that, you'll have to turn off first the uh, SRT mode right there, so something like that, and then go back to media setting. And then, so from here, you could change it as you like to 1080p or 720p, it's up to you. So again, I'm just going to be setting it to 4K. Okay, so again from here, we have to uh, turn on the SRT mode. Okay, there it is. So from here, under scene, you need to have at least one to get started. So I have webcam right there. Maybe I'm going to add one. I'm just going to put cam on there or tail air. Let's see, tail air. Okay, I'm going to hit OK. So from here, Let's go to sources and we'll have to tap the plus sign right there and then select media source. Okay, and from here we're going to create new and then we'll hit OK. And from here, local file, we're going to uncheck this box and you will see this. Now I'll leave this one as default, but I'm just going to be setting it as is. So the input, the, the format on here is SRT, so you have to type SRT colon backslash backslash and then remember I mentioned earlier to remember the IP address you have to enter that on here anyway if you forgot you can always go back to the device where you're opening the Obsbot app so you have to tap again those three dots to be able to open it again you'll have to turn off first the SRT mode so turn it off and then go to SRT setting and then you will see your local IP address so from here backslash backslash and then we'll, we're going to copy that IP address. And then from here, colon again, and then 5000, and then question mark. Okay, so maybe let's go back to this uh, device where I opened the Obsbot uh, app. Okay, I'll get out from there, and then I'm going to turn on again the SRT mode to make sure it's on. There it is, it's now on. From here, I'm going to hit OK. there it is so this is now what we can see first from this obs i'm just gonna okay i'm just gonna fix first uh, my screen or my view on here now on here uh, i'm just gonna be uh, 
um, maybe using up all those uh, views. So anyway, it's up to you if you want to add another view on here, maybe a webcam on here, or any camera or anything or or anything uh, you want to to add on this uh, space on here. But for this video, I'm just uh, going to be using the whole uh, frame. There it is. Okay, so that is now what I can see or what we can see uh, through the uh, obsbot uh, tail air I placed outside of my house. Now going back to the um, to the phone, uh, I can control the view from from here. So right now, since I do not have a remote, so pretty much I can use I can control it from here. So the gimbal, I can pan it to the right if I want, or to the left, or up or down. So pretty much you can do a, a lot of things through your phone. Even the defined uh, uh, settings uh, on here, you can uh, set them as well, P1, P2i. I set already earlier and we can update it. Or maybe I'm just going to delete first the three so I can show you how to set it up. Uh, let's say we're going to set up a scene or the view number three or P3. So to do that, we'll have to set first. Okay, maybe I'm going to tap that box right there and then I'm going to set uh, maybe a p3 as uh, maybe more to the right but a little bit wider so maybe let's use this as p3 so to do that we'll tap the so there's p1 2 and 3 let's tap p3 and now that is set to p3 or scene number three now uh, to update let's say p1 let's say what's p1 okay p1 is over there now if i wanted this to be a uh, if I want to update this, pretty much uh, just to select your view. Okay. Maybe let's use this as as a, as a P2. So if we're going to use this as P2, so it's a tap and hold P2 and then hit update until you see that. So this is going to be our scene number two or P2. Now for P1, same thing. If you want to, to update it, let's uh, do a close up one from the street. Okay, there it is. Okay, maybe let's uh, use this our P1 or scene number one. So again, tap and hold P1 and then update. So this is going to be our P1. Well, from here, you can still use the director's grid from here if you tap that. So you have this on air. You have your wide if you want to use that and it, it should change also on your screen over there. There it is. And then this is your auto. And from here, the P1, 2, and 3 that we had set earlier, it's here also. Let's say, for example, we want to use, uh, we want to use uh, P1, the, the one that is close up, closer to the street. So I selected P1. There it is. Oh, it's actually not that. Oh, there it is. So that's our P1. Okay, so anyway, that's uh, pretty much how to use those uh, predefined position over there or, or scene. And the retrograde, you can use them as well. And... Uh, for the resolution, as I shown you earlier, it's it's 4K, and uh, if I set this one to auto, so it's up to you if you want to to set uh, your resolution uh, from here uh, to manual. Let's say here, just tap the A, and then it'll turn to M for manual. So from here, uh, we're now on manual. So it's up to you if you want to change the ISO, if you want to maybe increase or or lower or increase that. There it is. It's more because I lower it. To, uh, it's more darker so if you want it brighter then increase your ISO so this is 1600 or 1600 ISO in there and then the shutter if you want to change that feel free to, to change that as well so in, lower it there it is so again it's all up to you if you want to, to use those but for this video maybe I'll, I'll go back and set it to set it to auto there it is now as i mentioned earlier i'll be uh, showing a sample facebook streaming now what we will do is uh, let's open first my facebook account on here okay, there it is so as you noticed i already opened my facebook account i'm all ready to go live streaming so from here you will see this webcam and streaming software by the way this is my first time to be using a streaming software for all my tutorials when it comes to live streaming i always use the webcam so again i'm not a pro on this so um, bear with me and for those of you who are pro uh, please do make comment uh, below and make some suggestions okay so from here you will see this stream key we will need this key 
to connect to OBS. So we'll copy it, something like that, and then let's go back to OBS. Okay, so from here, let's go to settings, and you will see something like this. And then we'll, we'll have to select stream. And then as you notice over here, I already selected Facebook Live. So if you're using Twitter, then select that, or, or Twitch, or whatever is on here that you want to use, then feel free to select. So again, I'm doing Facebook Live streaming, and that's why I selected it. And this is the stream key on here. This is where we will be uh, pasting the key we got or we, uh, we got from the Facebook uh, uh, live streaming. So from here, I'm going to hit apply and then OK. OK, so from here, uh, before we can start to hitting go live from the Facebook, we have to hit start streaming first from OBS, within OBS. OK, so let's do that. Start streaming. Okay, there you go. So now it says start streaming. What we'll do is let's go back now to Facebook. Okay, so from here we now see this go live. Uh, this is highlighted in blue, so let's now go live. And I will not be adding title, it's just a sample, so it should be good. There it is, we're almost live on Facebook. Okay, there you go. So we're now on live on Facebook. So this is now your view on your Facebook live streaming. And from here, of course, you can use uh, you can use uh, this uh, phone uh, to control the view as to where you want to point your your camera. And we can use uh, the uh, predefined position that we set earlier. So let's say P1. If you want to use that, then just simply tap P1, and it should show the 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 p1 that we uh, set uh, earlier so it's gonna go there there it is okay and now if we're going to tap p2 it should move uh, to the right because a little bit just a little bit to the right because that's where we set it earlier okay there it is and now p3 then it's gonna go to the number three that we had set and also from here as i shown you earlier you can still use the director's grid so maybe let's select wide Okay, and this should be your white, and then auto if you want to select that. And your P1, 2, and 3 are also on here, so it's up to you if you want to use them. So anyway, that is uh, pretty much how to use, uh, uh, including this uh, phone, uh, to, uh, to control your, your camera. And now, if you are curious, if you can still record from this device, aside from, aside from going live streaming on Facebook, let's uh, do it. Let's try it. So from here, I'm going to top the recorder from here while doing streaming on Facebook. There you go, it works. So right now, I am currently uh, recording it uh, uh, from this uh, phone. And at the same time, I'm doing live streaming on uh, Facebook. And there it is. That's pretty much how to set up if you want to try srt streaming on facebook or any other streaming uh, platform anyway it's your preference uh, might as well try it because it's already there uh, why not try it and then compare it with what you as i mentioned earlier the advantage of using the srt uh, streaming protocol is it offers low latency high data quality uh, transmission and it's secure and uh, reliable that is all I can share for today. I hope this uh, video gives you now an idea on how to set it up. And uh, if you will be uh, interested in getting one of this, I'll be adding a link under the description below. Um, again, I want to thank to Obsbot for sending me this Obsbot uh, tail air. And that's pretty much what I can share for today. Thanks again, guys, for watching. If you like this type of video, please give it a like. And if you want more of this type of videos, consider subscribing if you haven't done yet. And hit the notification bell so you're always updated for all the upcoming videos I will be posting. Keep safe and until next time.